Hey guys, what's going on? It's Wrecked Capton. Welcome back to the channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel just yet. But today we're going to be focusing on why altcoins are on the cusp of a bullish quarter two. And it all starts with answering the question of whether Bitcoin is going to be bullish or not. So let's look at a few things. We're going to be first diving into the stock to flow model and how Bitcoin will potentially play out going into the thick of quarter two. And then we're going to also look at Bitcoin's price action, followed by the price action of a market leader when it comes to altcoins, and that's Ethereum. And we're going to couple that together with the money flow cycle and then talk about how Bitcoin historically behaves when it comes to quarter twos and how this could play out and actually lend itself to positive price action from Ethereum and altcoins in general. So lots to cover. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's dive into today's video. So this is the stock to flow model. When it comes to Bitcoin's price action, we've never seen a period where Bitcoin's price action right over here in the red is following perfectly the line that represents the stock to flow for Bitcoin. So we're seeing a very, very perfect alignment between the price action and the stock to flow line. We've never really seen that if you just look back to recent history or even really far behind. There was no real tracing, perhaps a little bit here. We've never truly seen Bitcoin follow the stock to flow line as it is doing now. And that's quite an anomalous situation right here, because theoretically, Bitcoin isn't supposed to be following the stock to flow line. It's supposed to be deviating, deviating beyond the stock to flow line like we see here. But that's not really a meaningful one. What I'm talking about is the deviations that mark bull market tops, bull market tops, bull market tops, and here as well. So these are the upside deviations I'm going to be watching for. And in the past, we've seen a deviation beyond a rising stock to flow line. So you can see here that the stock to flow line is rising, but Bitcoin's price action is actually rising much faster than the stock to flow line is rising. But over here, for instance, you're seeing that the stock to flow line is rising and Bitcoin's price action is rising, but they're rising together. So at some point, something has to give, right? Something has to give, something has to slow down. And it looks like the stock to flow line is actually going to slow down and level out. It's going to level out, which means that if Bitcoin's price action continues to rally towards the upside, well, then we're going to actually see that deviation. Right. This is something that I talk about in my stock to flow uh, upside deviations articles on the newsletter. It's a part one, two and three series, but really full of fantastic information. And this is basically the premise I'm going to be watching for the deviation beyond the leveling out of the stock to flow line. So when is this deviation going to happen? Theoretically, we're going to see a leveling out in the stock to flow line in mid May. Right. So we see a leveling out right in mid May. So from that point onwards, if Bitcoin's price action continues in the same way that it's been continuing so far. So if it preserves the bullish momentum it's been having and enjoying thus far, Bitcoin's price action is just going to deviate beyond the stock to flow line. Now, how likely is this going to happen? Because this is something we need to talk about. Is it likely that Bitcoin is going to continue rising or are we going to see Bitcoin actually consolidate a bit under the line or even beyond it somehow? Really need to think about that because if we consolidate or even correct, then we're not going to deviate beyond that line. So let's talk about how does Bitcoin tend to behave in quarter twos. So right over here, this is the 2017 year. Bitcoin is bullish for most of it and then has a start correction later. And what we need to think about right here is that as we see Bitcoin climb up, you can see that there are many, many periods of consolidation. There's a period of consolidation here, here at the lows, even here, here as well. Here's a bit of a dip, but consolidation when it comes to when, when you think about altcoins, here's a stronger retrace a bit of a dip. So not good for all coins. But generally speaking, lots of periods of consolidation in an otherwise stable exponential uptrend. So basically speaking, in 2017, Bitcoin enjoyed a very bullish quarter two, but so did altcoins. 
because Bitcoin offered loads of opportunities for some sort of consolidation, which facilitated money flow into altcoins. So a bullish time for both Bitcoin and altcoins in quarter two, 2017. And it's very, it's setting itself up to be the case this year as well. As we see Bitcoin starting to enjoy a bit more of a bullish, uh, a bullish end to quarter one, 2021. So many opportunities in 2017, there are many opportunities for a Bitcoin uptrend. And when Bitcoin actually consolidated, this was essentially a small pause in an otherwise stable, healthy uptrend, which led Bitcoin to new highs each time. So many periods of consolidation in Bitcoin's price action available in quarter two, but also many periods of uptrending price actions. So there's something for everyone. Bitcoin will do well and altcoins will do well. At least this is what quarter two 2017 suggests to us. So let's have a look at how likely this could be going forward in 2021, quarter two. So Bitcoin at the moment has breached this long-standing resistance over here, this multi-week resistance, diagonal resistance over here, but it's actually still just below 59,000. And this is something we spoke about in the previous video. This is the level to breach. And if we get a weekly close above this level, and then turn 59,000 into a support, then we're gonna see a new all-time high for Bitcoin. That's pretty much the situation. But we've recently seen a monthly close. And just very briefly, this is the monthly chart, this is the halving, and you, think you can just see after the Bitcoin halving, we've just seen tremendous price appreciation from Bitcoin, which just shows to you how important the halving is for Bitcoin's price action. So in the many months after the halving, you're seeing such tremendous price appreciation. But the monthly candle close right over here, it closed below 59,000. But the good thing is it closed above this key level. So let's just zoom in to this period. What we needed to see is a monthly candle close right above this wick. And we got that, which is great. And at the moment, we're actually still seeing this new uh, April candle, April monthly candle, test the top of this wick as a support. So that's fantastic because that means that this support is going to really impose a lot of sell side or at least or at least buy side pressure on this 59,000 resistance. Basically speaking, it's very likely that this uh, new wicking support is going to press price beyond this resistance. It looks that way because the monthly candle close was very strong. So it looks like Bitcoin is going to break past this 59,000 resistance area into price discovery and all time highs, which is going to set off the new crypto money flow cycle right over here, which starts off with fiat, of course. And now that people are buying Bitcoin with their fiat after the 18% dip, rest assured, we're gonna see this money flow into different altcoins. And you're already seeing this from Ethereum. So this was a chart I shared in the newsletter, the triangle, for Ethereum and since then Ethereum has broken out from this triangle and it's rallied into its arguably final resistance era before Ethereum actually reaches all time highs and price discovery. So you're already seeing that Bitcoin is enjoying a bit of upside. The capital is already flowing into large cap, specifically Ethereum and both of them are on the cusp of a new all time high. You can see that from Bitcoin, on the cusp of a new all time high, pretty much the final major resistance area before new highs for Bitcoin and the final resistance area for Ethereum before price discovery, which will just set off the new money flow cycle. So the money flow cycle is on the cusp of restarting. We're gonna probably see a very bullish quarter two from Bitcoin's point of view in terms of uptrending, but also Bitcoin is gonna provide ample opportunity for altcoins to enjoy some upside as well, because Bitcoin is going to probably be consolidating on many occasions, enabling this money flow into large caps, mid caps and low caps. And of course, if Ethereum breaks out into price discovery, then we're gonna just see, you know, it's gonna be fantastic in terms of the money flow into mid caps and low caps. So we're gonna see an alt season in quarter two, but also strong upside from Bitcoin as well. But we're also gonna see strong upside from the Rex Capital newsletter. And this is just a bit of fun, just showcasing how on April 2nd, which is tomorrow, the Rex Capital newsletter is going to break out to double digits. Because of course, in September 20 to February 21, the Rex Capital newsletter was $5 a month. Then it broke out to $6.99 a month. 
in February. And now April 2nd, we're gonna see price appreciate just like it will appreciate for Bitcoin and Ethereum. We're gonna see price appreciate for direct capital newsletter, break out from 699 beyond this range resistance into double digits on April 2nd. So feel free to subscribe to the Rex Capital newsletter by clicking the link in the description down below to make the most of this early bird discount, lock in the pricing, get in before the price increase, it will be worth it, as it will be worth looking into this resistance that holds Ethereum from price discovery, into this resistance holding Bitcoin from price discovery. Really worth keeping an eye on that. And having said that, guys, thanks so much for watching today. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, like this video if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. I'm Rex Capital, and I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak to you soon.